Imagine a chromosome slowly fading away, vanishing bit by bit over millions of years. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's happening with the human Y chromosome, and it's lost 97 of its original genes in just the last 166 million years. Seriously, 97. What started with around 1,600 genes is now down to barely 45 to 55. Scientists currently estimate it could disappear entirely within the next 11 million years. But this isn't necessarily a disaster in the making, and it's not as simple as it sounds. There's a really interesting reason this is happening. Most of our chromosomes work in pairs, constantly swapping DNA to fix errors. The Y chromosome? Not so much. It's largely isolated, only pairing with the X chromosome in a small area. This isolation means it's more prone to mutations and losing genes, about 10 per million years to be exact. So why haven't all the genes disappeared? A select few are absolutely vital. Genes like SRY, which determines maleness, and AZF, essential for sperm production, are too important to lose. Actually, some species, like rhesus monkeys, have a remarkably stable Y chromosome spanning over 25 million years. If the Y chromosome does eventually vanish, there are two possible outcomes. It could stabilize, finding a balance like we see in other creatures. Or a completely new system for determining sex could evolve. We've seen this before in rodents where critical Y genes move to other chromosomes. Interestingly, Y chromosome loss already occurs as men age. It's called LOY, affecting around 40 of men over 70 and has been linked to increased health risks like cancer and heart disease. It seems Y-linked genes are surprisingly important for immunity and battling tumors. So will it disappear completely? We just don't know, but nature always finds a way.